Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to turn on the Pilcrow or the Show Hide button to reveal the underlying formatting commands which is important when you are adjusting formatting in the template. I will also take you on a quick tour of the dissertation template which is one of the capstone templates. The other templates for doctoral studies and project studies are designed in a similar way. So first of all the Home tab has several buttons, one of which is the Pilcrow or the Show Hide button. If your version of Word does not have the Show Hide button in this location, click the Help button and, and search for Show slash Hide to find the Pilcrow button. Notice when you turn this on, the underlying formatting commands are revealed. These are typically hidden when the pill crow is turned off but when you turn them on they are revealed you'll see the hard returns if you scroll down you'll see a page break here that would not normally be visible you'll also see down here the section breaks that are very important in the template these section breaks govern the special pagination of the front matter and it's important when you're adjusting formatting for example if you decide not to include acknowledgments Make sure you have the Pilcrow turned on so you don't inadvertently remove the section break because that would mess up the pagination of the front matter. Notice that the front matter starting with the first page of the table of contents has lowercase Roman numerals centered in the footer box. But when you get past the list of tables and the list of figures which ends the front matter, you'll notice that the pagination changes from lowercase Romans and the footer to Arabic numerals aligned right in the header box. This final section break also affects the pagination so be careful not to remove it and that might happen if for example you choose not to include any figures in your manuscript. Make sure to turn on the pill crow and remove all of this material but do not remove that section break because again that will screw up the pagination for the front matter. Let's do a quick tour of the template. I've already mentioned the front matter. There's a special abstract title page that starts the manuscript template followed by the abstract page. Make sure to limit the abstract to one page. All of the instructions are in here. You'll also find additional instructions in the Center for Research Quality. Next comes the manuscript title page which is identical to the abstract title page except there's no line for the abstract. You'll need to include your degrees in the order in which they were conferred and then make sure down at the bottom to include the last month of the final quarter you're registered and the appropriate year. Many of you will include a dedication. You can do that here. Simply highlight and begin typing right over the top of that text in the template. Uh, the same thing for acknowledgments. Again, be careful not to remove this section break if you choose not to include an acknowledgments page. Have the pill crow on so you can avoid removing that section break accidentally. The table of contents which I will address in another video can be easily updated. It's one of the grand features of the capstone templates and I'll show you how that works in another video. Then you have a list of tables. Some of you may not include tables so simply remove this highlight all the way down and then include the page break to remove if you choose not to include any tables. The same thing goes for the figures but again be careful not to remove that section break. It's very important. And then come in the dissertation template the chapters. Uh, for doctoral studies and project studies you will have sections one, two, three, sometimes four and five. A dissertation has five chapters so you'll see sample text here, instructional text every chapter ends with a page break and in chapter 4 of the template you'll see sample tables and figures. I'll go over these in a separate video as well and show you how to format those in your manuscript. And then after the chapter or section pages comes the references page. Every one of the templates has a references page and each you'll see some samples in here. File and the final section of the template is the appendices. So when you need to include appendix items, 
simply copy and paste. If you need to add more, copy and paste. And then scroll down to the next page and then insert additional appendix items as needed.